So now I just wanted to show another variety of photocopy transfer or the usage of photocopy transfer. This is a brand new sketchbook that I have. It has nothing in it. And so I want to take my logo and I'm going to transfer it on here so that I know that this is my sketchbook. Now, if you've noticed with my, with my logo, it's obviously got words, so it's been flipped, so that once I transfer this, you'll be able to read my name and my logo. All right, so <clears throat> uh, I have several of these logos so that I can transfer them onto different surfaces. I can transfer my logo onto boxes that I ship, envelopes, things like that, that, that uh, is really hard to print on. So I can use this photocopy transfer to have fun with putting my logo or my name or an image onto surfaces that can't be printed on, uh, at least not for me. I can get them professionally printed like boxes or whatever, but okay. So I'm gonna kind of look where I want that logo to be. And then I'm going to get it the very best I can. And remember, once you transfer, that transfer is on there. So I'm going to put my logo and my name on my brand new sketchbook. I'm going to burnish it. Pressing pretty hard because I want all those letters. Those letters are pretty small, so I want to make sure that I get all of that information transferred onto, onto there. I think it worked. Let me just make sure I get that little W and the N and the A that are pretty complex little characters. So I want to make sure that they're on there. Okay, so hopefully you noticed what my cover of my sketchbook looked at like before. It didn't have anything on it, and now it has my logo and my name on it. All right, so if, if you could imagine that this was any other type of um, object or whatever, I can put my logo on anything. All right, so now one thing, again, I wanted to point out that most of these logos have been transferred, and that's why I do multiple on each page because this one's done and it's now dead. This one's been transferred and it's dead. So if I go back to try to transfer that logo onto something, it won't work. So that's why I, I, I go in a, in a systematic thing so that I know that um, if I transfer something, it will work if I transfer my logo, okay? All right, so with that, I have this uh, sketch that I did not in this uh, sketchbook so I want to I want to I could actually redraw it and have fun with redrawing that sketch but since I've already done it I want to demonstrate that I could put that awesome little sketch in my sketchbook okay now again it's gonna be a little bit harder to to tape down because the the paper is bigger than my sketchbook so I'm just gonna have to kind of eyeball it and do the very best I can now remember this sketch is medium valued so it's got a lot of line work but it's got a little bit of toner or tone on it as well now you'll just notice that I had some type on the back of this piece of paper that I had used to do the drawing on and it just mixed with the toner and it just turned it a nice ugly color or value but that won't transfer because it's on the on the back side of this drawing and so it just mixed with my my blender marker the drawing that I'm transferring is what's on the opposite side and that's what I want to get transferred. Now, if I didn't want to transfer all of this image, 
I can leave a little bit of out and I don't have to put the, the blender marker on it. So if you notice what I'm doing down here at the bottom, I'm leaving a little bit of information out. Okay, the eyes and nose and mouth, the character, the look of the character is pretty important. So I'm going to go up there and make sure those got plenty of um, blender marker. I'm going to have to do kind of multitask here and, and uh, put that off to the side. Then I'm going to come in here and burnish. And again, if, if I don't want to transfer all the information, I don't have to burnish everything. I can leave some of that information off by not burnishing or not transferring. Okay. Just going to see if I need to darken that up just a little bit or put a little bit more pressure on it. Okay. And there is my drawing. All right. Transfer a little bit light but you'll be able to see that there's some fun little, looks like a Da Vinci drawing in a sketchbook. Now I can come back in here now and redraw some of that or do a painting on that, do some watercolor or gouache on it with real thin transparent and we can go from there. All right, so that's uh, another usage of photocopy transfer. So there's my sketchbook with my now my logo on it and then with a drawing inside.